What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more Bungo Stray Dogs. Today we have season four, episodes seven and eight. Remember, if you guys want the full, uncut, unedited versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below as well. Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right to today's episodes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Starting off with hospital beeps. Thus, I am certain the murder is. Oh, it's not hospital beeps, it's a camera recording. Reality manipulation. Now we have Rampo with Tanida. It can manipulate the reality. What kind of OP ability is this? How did I not even think of that? Oh, it's going to be a reality bending, so it's going to show Rampo murdering Tanida, and it's going to show the ADA murdering the other... Yeah, this dude and the rest of them. DK, oh my god, bro. I was wondering whose power it must be to uh, change this reality, but it would make sense that it's the page. Light snow. This guy is just good, man. Oh no. It really does alter reality. Oh, yeah. Anizaki's plan of surrendering because they're innocent wouldn't even work theoretically at all. They can get framed beyond getting framed. It's literally like Rampo's jumping out of windows. What's he like? What do we do? He did say, don't take this job. This will be the ADA's demise, you know? This is the same warhead. The hell? What do you mean? This definitely wasn't us. Oh my god, is that like an actual rocket? I thought it was going to be like a person with a gifted ability, like Chuya or something. Obviously not Chuya, but just someone with his sort of power landing, but no. Maybe it is a person. I thought now it was a rocket, now I'm back to a person. Oh my god. First off, I feel like I recognize this dude's voice actor. He was the dude in the prison who was watching um oda right when fukuzawa but that was a flashback so this is live him present day him he was watching the prison during then back in the day so i wonder whose team is he on give me the details his power he's obviously gifted i think i recognize his voice actor oh and now this is the guy who arrested desai at the dog racing thing i don't want to pause it real quick but is Correct me if I'm wrong. I could have already said it before. Is that guy's voice actor not Uvo? Also Blackbeard. Two very, very big characters. Captain. Oh, so he is a part of the Decay of Angels. Jono. Okay. So when he was arresting Desai, he's on the, the hunting dogs. They mentioned that. So these guys are good guys, technically. Like, they're against the Decay of Angels. These guys are a part of the military. It would make sense why he was watching over a prison with Oda in it. Okay, another sword user. Who are, are more hunting dogs? Okay, I need to know way more details about these guys. She gives me like Kishirika vibes from uh, Mushoku Tensei. Oh, way over the top, you know? Teruko. Oh, so she likes the captain. The hunting dogs. Five member. All forces. Special suppression squad A team. Where's their fifth member? We got the squad's leader. And living legend, I'm just trying to get the, the details too. The blind king who can comprehend any situation with his senses. He was talking about the feeling of like the the density and the vibrations of Desai's muscles and bones and shit, right? That makes sense. I'm trying to think back now. Capable combatant. Su Suehiro. Queen of bloody thorns. Yeah, where's their fifth? The hunting dog. Wait. He's infiltrating another organization? That gets somebody we already know? 
Who could that be? I can't, I can't lie. I'm very excited. The fifth member is infiltrating another organization. I would say the ADA, but I don't think so. Fort Mafia, maybe? The Decay of Angels, maybe? I guess when you put it into perspective like that, you know, a storm did come in and sweep us up, you know, and a blessed rain are the same thing. Talk about perspective. Never would I thought Kenji would be giving us some, I mean, from a farmer's point of view, I love that, you know, but let's weather the storm and rebuild to another 10 years. To that end, we cannot give up hope and we must persevere. Okay, I like that, Kenji, shout out. I respect that from Kunikita. It's not even about their safety. It's about the people, innocent people's safety. So I respect that. I agree. Let's do it, ADA. Ail and you will be punished. So they were like, we only have one car for you to use. And he said, not a problem. We haven't messed up since we were formed. So there's no punishment set. Oh, these guys are different. You don't even need a car. The one car you had, you guys keep it. Start, start driving home. <laughs> this is the vehicle we're going to commandeer. <sighs> I do? Why? <laughs> Kunikita's... Oh. What did that... That dude just looks like he just cut the fucking through the mountaintop to get here. He's a little bit of a weirdo, but anyone that's that nice with a sword, I can't, I can't roast you, you know? Your pulse and breath. That's so weird. Not breathing. Oh, that's crazy. I love how they visualize that. Atsushi's still stuck from fucking Nikolai's move. But now that Nikolai is dead, I wonder if that power goes... No, it has to just stay there. and just be permanent. Because Nikolai got cut in half, right? Oh, yeah. He hasn't realized the update. He doesn't even know. Okay. <laughs> How did he get in there? Kenji's on top of it, and yeah, he just blocked a Kenji. And this is like the senses guy. Like, he's not even like the strength guy. He's all about the sense. Oh, that's crazy cool. Anizaki just taking one for the team. Same with Kenji, doing what they can. I was about to say, him, I'm actually nervous about being in front of because he might actually. Oh, light snow was used to keep hiding the car. That was super smart. I like that. Shout out Kunikita. Okay, thank the thank the Lord Wherform can tank that. Can it even? No, it's that I was literally just about to say where did Kyoka go? I was about to say, how did you do that? Makes sense though. Shout out Kyoka. <laughs> Honestly, they made it out of that pretty smart. And Kunikita would know about them. Plum blossoms in the snow. Oh my god. He just sent out a shock wave. Plum blossoms in the snow. Beautiful samurai title for an ability technique. Oh. Even the book got cut. Bro, he is so fast. And it turns. It's like a light sword that he can freely manipulate and send very far. 
That's what I'm saying. To catch a fleeing car. That is sick. Yeah, because she would be able to keep them all alive. The closer they get to death, the more she can... Don't just put them into an analogy like that. someone had to do ya the poor mafia I got goosebumps right now just hearing that 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 voice you're a legend I never would have thought I'd be as happy to see you guys as I am oh my lord all right on to the next episode should be episode eight right where we left off first off that light sword ability is just sick we got the hunting dogs versus the port mafia how does this play out oh you want your gunfire this is gonna be out of caliber and speed faster than anything you can think of oh my god that's so ingenious just give him a box of bullets he doesn't even need a gun he is the gun right there's no way i mean it would make sense to save everyone we'd have to do what we have to do but i mean i get it but who are we gonna lose as a port it'd have to be like desire or something which i don't want you know right this is the most non kunikita he's ever sounded hey, his book did get cut in half Oh my god. It's not just a light sword. It's and he can hook it to keep Kunikita's gonna sacrifice himself? Leave it up to the squad? He's gonna swing under and grab him by the feet, pull him down. Something along those lines. You're a legend, Kunikita. He has an extra page, an extra part in there. Talk about returning to the ground, that symbolism. Hell yeah. <laughs> and he'll fly on for eternity. You're not gonna die hitting the ground, buddy. You're gonna. Nah, nah. nah I know you guys said season four and season five of the show get crazy. Nah, but there's no way. No, no, sirree. I refuse to believe it. I really do. Heck yeah. You don't even know what their plan is, let alone how to stop it, let alone the resources to be able to. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good flashback. I think you will... We saw Desai getting arrested. How is he here? And he's not here. Hmm. Was that... He, uh, and Yoka didn't hear it. Was that purely in his head for some Atsushi motivation? It could absolutely have been. That's the real question right there. I couldn't personally, me, myself, will never be able to answer that. That man's head is a jigsaw puzzle. Ushitaro would help. But he's like stuck in some alternate reality, right? He was our enemy before. He might sell us out to the MPs. Who are we talking about? This is a very... Wait, with the security? Are we talking about Francis? Are we going to the guild? They had the facial tracking recognition software and everything that he was in charge of. Oh shit, this whole office is torn down. Reese? Nathaniel. Yeah. Margaret, because with the Zelda, she got blown this. Mm, with Octagawa. 
Man, 50k is nothing to what you used to have, Francis. Don't get me wrong. You're still not no weak dude by any means, but... Ooh, with the pen? That was kind of clean. He said, I gotta go. He said, I'm not ready for the Francis 50k. Of course. Yeah. Just hearing that voice. At least a week. Mori Uga. Can we get that info at, at least? That's damn near right, right there. He's in fucking prison still? Oh, oh wow. Oh wow, look at this. Looks like we're in Tartarus from my hero. <laughs> That's why he's in there safely, just letting his plans go out. What did he just say? What did he say? Because he's in the prison, Mersault. It would be a little annoying if the agency were to use the eyes of God. Francis. And is that why we sent Nathaniel? Wow. Atsushi had to have saved him in time. There's no shot. That was really smart. Like post leaving a way to get him we're not we didn't actually kill francis there's no way another person has just joined the prison it's gonna be desai and is this something he wasn't expecting or he was mm, luisa smart cookie kyoka i don't know why i would instantly assume luisa Oh. Very smart indeed. <laughs> so we have the two chess masterminds right here. With the pieces out there in the world. This is so crazy. Okay, Tanada's still going to be good. At least he's going to survive. Happy about that. They look like they should be in Chainsaw Man. Did, does Ongo legitimately think it's Rampo, or does he know? Because on, Ongo's a smart dude, you know? Honestly? Damn. That's a little real, but that's a little real. Honestly, I'm, I might be on Tanada's side, just because the Decay of Angels is so fucking dangerous, you know? Facts. Expect it. Okay, Ongo. I feel like somehow they both already know the answer to that one. Yeah, the other's method. Damn, I wonder who's going to be the first one to win that chess match. Mushitaro, man. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. What is the price? Mm, I wonder what Nathaniel would think about that. Wow. So it might be a price we have to pay. It's a very f***ed up cruel world we live in, but it's kind of like what Taneda said. You have to do whatever you can for peace. I get it. It makes you a good man. Yeah, I was about to say, Kyoka's probably thinking of herself right there. I can think of 
17 different instances where Atsushi does this throughout the show, so... I would have to agree. So... When she said there was a place we can go to be safe, but I would abhor being there. Was this what she was talking about? And he's lying about that. That's, uh, Francis. I sent the lichen throat boy. <laughs> yeah, odd sushi. This is very weird. I'm trying to think of all the... And that's the one thing about the world building about the show is so good. I'm trying to think of all the organizations that are taking part of this. We have us, who's working with an old enemy, also working with another old enemy, to help us to escape people who are good guys that were are after us because of we're being framed and no one is worrying besides like Desai us you know like little but no one's really worrying about the actual decay of angels which is crazy but there's one two three four five organizations all battling out right now it's so crazy to me yeah that's a good point Mori what does that say about the current scenario? Actually, you're not lying there, which pisses me off. Like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, this is getting serious. This is getting serious. Okay, so we're getting into the meat and potatoes of it. The hunting dogs, quite the introduction. We got Jono, the blind one, Teruko, the girl, Fukuchi, the leader, and Suehiro, the sword man. I really. I'm enjoying their power so far. I really want to see Fukuchi in the, the vice commander, the vice girl in, in action. But as of right now, thoroughly impressed. I'm very curious who the fifth member was that's infiltrating another organization. I'm very curious about Yosano's past with Mori. I'm very curious about Francis in this trap. Like, bro, when I tell you the story plot threads that are all coming together right now, it's, it's all paying off. It's very, very good. Very well written. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And you guys said season five only gets better. I don't know how, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Um, I don't know if I already said check out the Patreon, early access, uncuts, all that. Other than that, have a great day, Dapper Squad. I appreciate y'all immensely. Peace out.